Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we talk about relationships. I mean, CMDB relationships. Whenever we see a particular relationship, most of the time, like me and my, like me, uh, many other people think that relationship is a parent and child relationship. But this parent child relationship is very unique. And we cannot say to this to every uh, particular relationship. For example, there is a server and on that server, there is two virtual machines. Those machines are hosted on that particular server. Okay. It is a virtual machine, remember. So these machines are utilizing each and everything from the server. It's all the resources like memory, storage, RAM, operating system, everything. These two things are utilizing. It means they are the actual child of this server. But when we talk about a particular web application, let's say an e-commerce application, which is having three components, it's a front end, it's back end, and it's database. For front end, it is using a web server for a database, or you can say back end, it is using a separate database server. So it is not completely dependent on one particular server. If one server fails, that web application has some configurations to uh, like utilize the services of any other server, right? So this is not, you can say, an ideal parent-child situation. So why I'm doing this kind of distinction? It is because when we do the complete impact analysis, at that time, we have to understand that which application is 100% dependent on a particular server or you can say on a particular CI. So if something happened to that CI, it means the services of that particular dependent child is completely vanished, completely stopped. So now onwards, please uh, see whether the relationship which we're talking about is related to actual parent-child relationship or it is a hierarchical relationship, or you can say it is some kind of compositional associational relationship. So all these type of categories I have explained in my website service now spectacular. Let me show you for one time. So just focus on this particular article that is CMDB parent-child relationship with Buster. Here you can see under table of content, I have provided almost a uh, various type of categories. Parent-child relationship, dependency, associative, composition, connectivity, containment, services, configuration, item. Okay, so these are the basic categories which I have described. And along with that, I have provided very, very good examples here. You can see under parent child, there is one more example, which is data center rack. So here you can see the rack is there and physical server is there. So that server is utilizing everything, network, power, component, everything, storage from that particular rack. So that's why this is a parent child relation. So along with this, you can see various examples. Each and every example is explained in a very good way. This is composite relationship, e-commerce application, the same which I have explained. Connectivity relationship, that is a network switch and server one, server two and router. So just visit this site and you can understand each and every concept properly. All these relationship categories are very important and you have to understand the difference between these because if you want to make your CMDB better, this is what you have to do. You have to understand each and every minute details and get uh, benefit by that, okay? So come here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.